Hello, McDaniel Army, and welcome back to my channel. All right, I know you guys haven't seen like this view in a while, and I'm sorry for any like extra background noise right now. Um, we're literally like <laughs> missing a part of our window, but that's besides the point. Um, also, I wanted to start off this video by saying, um, like, I'm sorry that I mentioned that I was going to do, like, a, um, video that my friends, supporters, and family helped me out with. Um, it was going to be, like, what do you think a mentor is or something like that. I don't know what I was going to name the video, but I decided to not even do that video, so... If any of you guys out there that helped me, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be doing that video maybe in the future um, because like one of my statuses on my like for my Facebook was that I was like inspired by um, my fiance's aunt because she posted a status saying um, what do you think a mentor is and I did message her and say that you inspired me. And then I got like a bunch of my friends and family and supporters to like help me out and it just, I don't know, I was getting like really frustrated trying to like put the pictures into the iMovie video and just the format of iMovie just, I don't know, maybe it's just for phones or whatever, it just completely sucks. Okay, um, I get like YouTube notifications and everything, so... I know you guys miss this view, I miss this view too, but I'm literally like loving this view right now except for the, <laughs> the spider that's in the window and the spider that was on the lamp, he was like curled underneath or whatever, but anyways, that's besides the point, you guys don't need to really know what goes on in a house and whatever else, so you guys, I literally just ate Chinese food and I'm like full to the max. So if you see me like having trouble breathing, that's because my stomach is satisfied. <laughs> Anyways, um, so like I have the GoPro app because right now I just have the GoPro Hero 7. Like I said, the GoPro Hero 9 just came out with the front LCD screen, so I can't wait to buy that, but I'm just using my phone right now for, like, the LCD screen or whatever, so I can see myself being recorded. Um, but I do have to go into my text messages because I have a bunch of stories to tell you about my day today. So, obviously, today is Saturday September 19th, 2020 is really echoey in here and it's really quiet downstairs. <laughs> so I'm like trying to listen to everything. And then I just don't like the echoiness because like we don't have anything running in the background anymore. So, and we don't have like the window there. And the spider's creeping me out. That's probably the spider's like brother or sister in here and the spider's like trying to get in here. Anyways, I really hope a spider doesn't come in here and like crawl on me because I have a fear of spiders. So if you didn't know that. Anyways, <laughs> so I have to go to my text messages. Um, yes, I did text myself to remind myself what to talk about in this video. Um, I was going to do this video a whole lot earlier. It's 6.30 at night here. Um, I was going to do it like right after work, but I don't think, okay, so my fiance like plugged in my GoPro before I got home and for some reason it wasn't charging and then like I turned it on and it was like on 3% charge or whatever and I don't know. My GoPro has been having a lot of issues and that's probably because the other GoPros are out now. So I need to hurry up and get some types of funds for me to buy a new GoPro because I hear the GoPro Hero 9, you guys, is like beast. Anyways, so we're gonna go on with my story time of my day. I'm gonna like scoot back a little bit because I feel like I'm literally all up in your guys' face. Um, so, I don't know where to start. Um, okay, let's 
let's start with this one. So, if you guys don't know already, I am a um, online grocery pickup associate at a Walmart. So, I was doing a like chilled pick walk and if you guys have this at your Walmart, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, then I'm sorry, but I'll try to like explain it to the best of my ability. So we have these like giant carts. Okay, they're not really like that giant, but they carry two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so they carry eight blue totes on this little cart thing. And then um, like when you do like a chilled pick walk or whatever, um, it prints out, well, you, have, you have a handheld and then you have a printer and you pick the chilled walk and then it um, prints out like however many labels for that one chilled walk or whatever. Um, so I had eight totes to fill for my walk, for my chilled walk. So I was like over by the, um, uh, what the heck is it called? Silk Almond Breeze, um, like milk or creamer or whatever it is. And this lady, she comes up to me and she like asked me to hand her some buttermilk. And I'm like, okay. So I, she was like looking at the door that I had open. Cause if you go to like a Walmart there, or well, ours is like on this back wall, it has like all the coffee creamers at one end and then like all the orange juice and whatever. And like in the middle is like all the milk. So she's asking me to pass her buttermilk and she was like looking at the door that I had open cause I was looking for the item that the person ordered on for their pick up grocery order or whatever and she was like pass me the big one so I pointed down to the like unsweet vanilla silk almond breeze stuff if you know what I'm talking about and she's like no that's not buttermilk she's like oh it's the next door over and I'm like okay she's like hand me the big one because you know like buttermilk comes in the small like container and then the big container so I go and I pull it out because, you know, like it's overly stocked. And so I was having like trouble pulling it out. So I finally got it pulled out and I handed it to her and she was like, thank you. But you know how like with all this stuff, we're not really supposed to like touch each other or, you know, get close or whatever. So I go to hand it. I don't know even if it was like a female or whatever, but we're just going to call it a her. So I go to like hand it to her or the customer, let's just say the customer. And I try to like hand it to them in a way that they wouldn't like touch my hand. Well, this person went to go grab for it and I literally just felt, I'm like, okay. So I like finished my walk and I was like grossed out because I am not trying to get sick. I'm not trying to catch anything, you guys. So when I finally got the chance I like ran <laughs> to the bathroom and like washed my hands really really good even though we're supposed to be practicing good hand washing anyways but um yeah it was just gross it was like so like the person just grabbed it and it was just so slow I was like Ugh, and I can still feel it like when I do that so that was one of my parts of my day um let's see here okay so I was in the I want to say like the soup not the soup aisle but like the aisle where you have like all the um like pasta and like alfredo sauces and whatever I think I was in that aisle I don't know I was doing a ambient pick walk or pick exceptions I don't know my day was kind of crazy you guys so you know how we had those like um, stickers on the floor and then we had the like banners or whatever and it said enter this way and then on the opposite side it was like a sticker and then like the cardboard pieces and that side said do not enter. Well she like was, she said, she came up to me and she's like, 
you guys took your stickers off. And I'm like, I'm sorry. She's like, your sticker is on your floor. You guys took them off. She's like, that's kind of nice. I was like, yeah, and just kind of like fake laughed or whatever because I don't know what that means. Like they're, the stickers and stuff are still in like parts of the store or whatever, but they aren't like on the grocery side. So I don't know what that means. Maybe they just took them off because they had to replace them so many times and they were probably getting ready to replace them. I don't know. Don't ask me. So, and then she just kind of like walked off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. So I got that one, I got that one. My fiance is sneezing in the background or downstairs, I'm sorry. Um, okay, let's do this one because I wanna save the juicy one for last, which is gonna be like the main story or whatever. Okay, so I was in the cookie aisle, like where all the Oreos and like um, like chicken and biscuits are, like that aisle, like Cheez-Its, all that good stuff. Um, and this customer, okay, like um, he was on the one side where like the canned goods are because our aisle is like canned goods and then this side is like all the cookies and stuff. So I think he was like up by the like corn and stuff in a can and one of them had like a low redi low reduce wow low reduced pricing on it like it had the little low reduced yellow sticker on it and just the one and I was grabbing what was I grabbing oh I was grabbing goldfish s'mores or whatever because this person ordered it for their grocery pickup order and he goes excuse me miss I'm like yes he's like why does this one can have a yellow sticker on it and not the rest of them and I was like well because I know when we do that we it usually means like it's a low reduced price and he's like why is it just the one and I'm like probably because it's been sitting on the shelf longer than the other ones I don't really know don't quote me on it but that's just what I thought, so I told him that. Um, and he was just like, hmm, okay. So he grabbed that one, and then he grabbed, like, four more. And I'm like, okay. Then, like, walks down towards, like, the fudge stripes and whatever at the beginning of the aisle. And I'm going to pick um, some type of cookie or whatever the person ordered. And we didn't have it on the shelf. So I hit item not found and then it substituted with um, great value chippers. Like it's like the um, store brand of chocolate chip cookies or whatever. And this guy is like standing right, like, okay, so I'm like here with the cart. He's like standing right here, you guys, mind you, he is not wearing a mask. And he's like standing so close to me asking me all these questions. So I literally have to like back up because you don't know what people have these days. You don't even know. And I'm literally like not trying to catch anything. I don't want to bring anything into this house. So that was disgusting. And then like I literally am like trying to grab this stuff and like go around the corner because I had to go to the next aisle or over to get some other items for these people that they ordered. And I look over and he's in the beginning of the aisle. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, do not come near me. And I think he like coughed a little bit too. I'm like, but he didn't really cough like when he was near me, but he was just standing so close to me without wearing a mask. You guys, please. Like I understand I'm gonna probably get so much like controversy conversation in my comments for these like masks things but oh my gosh I just want this stuff to be over and people aren't doing what they need to be doing to stop the prevention I know there's a lot of controversy that's going on that's saying masks work masks don't work da 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 I mean if you're gonna get sick you're gonna get sick but like if you're sick and you need to go out it helps prevent you spreading the germs to other people 
and so on and so forth. I mean, you shouldn't go out anyways if you're sick right now. Please stay home. We have so many like people out here that are becoming like testing positive. <sighs> and they're like sending their kids to school the next day or they're just letting their kids run around the apartment complex. I'm like, you realize if you're tested positive, you're gonna give it to other people and then the whole county or whatever you live in is gonna be shut down again and then what? We've already lived that quarantine life, you guys. Like, I'm still living the quarantine life. I literally don't go anywhere but work in here. And we've only been out of, like, the state and county or whatever we live in once since this whole thing. Like, and then we were, like, safe on top of it. Like, I didn't go to work for a couple days just to be safe. But we wore our masks everywhere we went because... That's just what we gotta do. Anyways, way off topic. Okay, so I did that one. I did that one. Um, okay, so another thing that bothers me, and I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, this isn't story time. You're just complaining about everything. Da 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 da. No, it's story time to me, and I just want to like get my day out there. <laughs> Um, and I'm sorry I'm not like so energetic. I literally came home and was just like sitting around, you know, watching YouTube, watching TikTok, whatever. And then I went to like co lay down on the bed and I was like dozing off. I'm so tired, you guys. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the weather change. I'm not sick, I promise you. Like, we literally get our temperatures checked every time before we start a shift. I've said that multiple times in my other videos um, and if I did feel sick I'm smart enough to actually stay home um, yeah anyways so another thing that bothers me too is okay I know customers come first when we're working right but when we're doing like pick walks or whatever we have a specific time frame that they're due and if they're not due, then it sets us back, and it's, it's just not good. So say, like, I come in at 5, right, and it'll say orders are due at 7.30 or whatever. So we literally have, like, an hour to get that done, even though the person isn't picking it up until, like, 8 or 9 in the morning. But we need to have them back in our back room so that people can the people in the back room can like stage them and whatever else they need to do to have them ready for when the people actually get there so like i understand you like customers come first okay fine but please do not block the whole aisle if you see me with this giant cart do not turn around and just stare at me Oh my gosh, like, you do not understand, like, I, oh, I swear, like, people just get dumber and dumber, like, I'm not trying to be, like, mean or anything, but I'm trying to work, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to do what I'm here to do, and, oh my god, it was like the cookie aisle today, like, it was just so jam-packed, one person coming this way, the other person coming this way, me coming with the giant cart thing, and just everybody, like, trying to fit through or whatever, <sighs> drives me nuts, it drives me nuts, and, like, I'm on the clock, so I can't really say anything, and I'm not gonna say anything anyways, I try to say excuse me, and then, like, the customers still stare at you, I'm like, really? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to work here. Thank you. <sighs> okay, now that I got that off my chest, um, let's see here. I'm gonna save that long story for my last part of this video. Um, okay, so we have about six people that, I want to say about six people that come in at five o'clock. That is if they don't call off. Now, I have specific reasons I call in. 
Um, but I guess starting October 1st that our absences are going to start counting against us now. So I got to really like motivate myself to get up and go to work or whatever. I got to set myself to get to bed early and not so late. I didn't go to bed till like 1030 last night and I woke up about four this morning. So yeah. And then like probably like an hour into my shift, not even like I started to like get so tired and like, I don't know, like stomach pains or whatever. I was like, this is not going to happen today because I literally missed it yesterday and I missed Wednesday too and I was off Thursday. So yeah, but I have my reasons. So I don't know what's going to happen. <sighs> but next month is going to be like tough. Like I... don't even know <laughs> so anyways um so we have about like six people that come in at five that is like i said if they don't call off or whatever and then we have people that come in at six and so on and so forth um and then like us five o'clock people are like uh pick walkers as they call it um and then i wish i could just like take my camera in and show you guys but that would be illegal um so yeah um so we have about six people that are pick walkers or whatever so today i was asked to do pick exceptions pick exceptions are um when you do like pick walks and then you can't find an item that person goes and tries to find the item or whatever if you can't find the item you're supposed to substitute it well of course i got in trouble or whatever you want to call it, but my boss today, she was like, you have to go in the coolers and look at everything. And she's like, these substitutions aren't, are too much. Like you're supposed to give them the item that they want. And then if you don't find it anywhere, if you don't find it anywhere, like um, on the shelf or like in the back rooms or whatever, then just do like item not found and then you have to like do this like whole send report thing pops up on your screen and then it just says like multiple choice items or whatever we always usually hit the top one or whatever which is like item not found or quantity of item is wrong or something and then you hit send report and I guess it goes to like our big corporate bosses or whatever <sighs> so anyways she complained about that, which was like so annoying because I've done, I've been doing pick exceptions for a while. Like I understand we have to go to the back room, but if they're on a time frame, then it's kind of hard to do that. And then I guess, what was it? Oh, it was hamburger meat, right? So I went to go substitute it for like three little thin, three little like tubes of hamburger meat or whatever. And she, I come back and she's like, why are you substituting that? Why are you substituting hamburger meat? So I was like doing all the other ones. And then she like called me back on the walkie talkie. And she's like, you need to do that 831. And I was like, I'm sorry. I was all the way across the store, like doing other ones for you. But then I just went in the cooler and the person that does like the meats and stuff, I just got them and got them done. So anyways. <sighs> I don't know sometimes guys like I don't know and then like we have this board in our back room or whatever and she writes down like everybody that's there and like our shift times and then like when our breaks are and when our lunches are or whatever and I was supposed to take my first break at 7 and I didn't take it till 8 45 and then I took my break or my lunch at 9.30 and I literally just got back from break or whatever. But then the other person that was back there, cause I guess my boss or whatever, I was gonna do this. But um, she told this lady that was back there that, um, well, she, she was like, I know you're not gonna like this, but this was, you need to go to lunch. And that was from so-and-so, or whatever, my boss. So, yeah, that was fun today. 
I had my lunch from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Because we get an hour lunch. And then we were supposed to get two 15-minute breaks. Or 15 to 20-minute breaks or whatever. So I think I finished my first break at 8.45. Because I went back there at like 8.27 or something like that. And then um, I was doing like all these pick walks. And I was in the middle of a pick walk, and it was like 1.20 in the afternoon. And look, mind you, I'm done at 2. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go take my, I'm going to go take a little break or whatever. And she's like, you guys need to stop taking your breaks so late. Oh, excuse me. I'm like, okay. So I put my, put my hand on my printer and my walkie in the cabinet or whatever. And by the time I got back there, it was like, almost 1.30 and then I was done with my last break at like 1.47 and you know there was no reason for me to go back there because my shift was pretty much already done so I clocked out at 1.55 five minutes till two and then left so I don't know and then another one of my like um co-workers that works in that department too she was like in the back doing you learns which is basically like videos to help us learn more or whatever and then I went to go clock out next thing I know I'm like seeing her walking in one of the aisles so hopefully I don't get in trouble for doing that tomorrow but we'll see tomorrow's Sunday tomorrow it's gonna be a slow day <sighs> Hopefully I don't have to do pick exceptions tomorrow because I'm not about to do pick exceptions three days in a row. Maybe she'll realize that I don't like doing pick exceptions. She won't put me on pick exceptions anymore. Um, okay, so I was doing a produce ambient pick walk, which is basically like where our all of our fresh produce are is, whatever. I was over on the side with the onions and like bananas and all that and this mom and daughter come up to me and um sh the mom asked me like um she was looking for like a bag of caramel caramels caramels yeah and so I didn't understand her and then I pointed over to like the um candy apples and then I was like is that what you're looking for? Or, okay, so um, I didn't understand her. So I asked if she was looking for candy apples. And she was like, no, the little, you know, the little caramels that come in like the plastic or whatever. And it's the squares. She was looking for like a bag of those. And um, I told her that they would be like in the candy aisle. And she told me that they looked and didn't see any. And then I told her if they weren't on the shelf we probably were out or getting a shipment in sometime later today and she was like okay and walked off and then I think her daughter like whispered something to her or whatever and then like her mom was like I know right like all in a valley in all in a valley girl voice or whatever I'm like if her daughter would have said something about me I'm <sighs> I'm gonna be mad, I'm gonna be mad. But anyways, I don't know what her daughter whispered or whatever, but that's none of my business. I'm just trying to do my job. Y'all know how it is. Okay, so I shared like all my <laughs> lifetime stories. Pin conversations, keep your favorite conversations at the top of the messages list. Okay, sorry, iPhone had like an update yesterday. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let me see how long this video is. I'm just going to ramble. I have a highlight tag. Okay. How do I get this off of here? Oh my gosh. The GoPro like snaps a photo while you're recording. So then it like does the... YouTube can like figure out what to use for your video picture or whatever. I always forget what it's called. 
I don't know. This lighting is horrible. I look blue. <sighs> okay, anyways, that's besides the point. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go. But before I go, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, share, comment down below. And that little bell next to the subscribe button, make sure you turn it on to all so you guys can be notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I will see you all lovely people in the next one. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Do, 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 do. So many hearts going out to you guys. Do, 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 do. Okay. And peace out.